I play a sport called polo cross. It's not a game, it's a way of life. There's no doubt a tournament is always one of the highlights of the season. Every summer, tournaments are held around the country where clubs meet up for competition and friendship. These events appeal to all players of all levels of sporting skill and social background. There's no doubt a tournament is always one of the highlights of the season. I'd say nine out of ten people that actually try it, even if they can't ride very well at all, are hooked. Nine, yeah. Once you got them out there, you know yeah. you've got a new member. Every, anybody can play, no matter how old you are. It's an easy going sport. It's not. It doesn't have the, uh, the stigma of polo and, and that sort of thing. And it's relaxed and you know, but very competitive at the same time. You go out there. I went out as a non-rider. Somebody gave me a rough idea of what was the, uh, the front and the back of the horse and what to do. And I went out and had a game. And of course, it was appalling. I was standing totally still over the ball, trying to pick it up, and I couldn't. Um, and after eight minutes, um, they said to me, OK, it's time up, come in. And I said, I don't want to come in. Um, it's, it's so contagious. We couldn't afford you a really expensive pony, even though I'd be doing well at it. Whereas here, you can turn up on any horse. Everyone will help you, no matter how good they are. Or they're the same level. They've always got, you know, there's always someone there to help you. No matter how desperate you sort of get and you think it's all just going horribly wrong. Uh, and that just picks you up again, you can carry on and then you just get better and better. And now it's really nice just to see people getting better, you know, you go, now I can give people advice and it's nice to see them take it on and, and do it and get better. Anyone that likes any kind of ball sport or team sport, you just get sucked in. And it's a, very much a family sport. You, people come away with their families for the weekend, enjoy a, you know, the competition, polo cross, and have a, you know, a good social weekend. of you know your, your traditional sports but I think it must have been 50 or 60 years ago uh, a lady from over here started the sport from England and uh, she used it to teach people to ride to help with their balance she took it out to Australia where it took off so and it's 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 quite big in Australia it's the biggest there th than any other country in the world and it's now it's come back here and it's starting to 
to go over here and it's, it, it is spreading around around the world and hopefully Europe will be next and uh, who knows the Olympics one day. Go. It is a one horse sport. You have your horse, you play that horse for the weekend and you know generally your horse is always your favourite. Yeah. The horses need to be, you know, in the beginning, can be any type of horse, you know, ponies, through the cobs, whatever you'd like. But as you as you progress, the horses should be agile, quite quick, and have a have a sound temperament. You know, um, some of the breeds which are used, Australian stock horses, is probably the most popular breed worldwide. Thoroughbreds quarter horses and, and crosses of those those breeds. They tend to make the, the top playing horses. Yeah. When you first come into the sport it's not critical to have the best horse and have top skill obviously because you'll be starting in a lower grade but as you progress then you know the skill level will obviously increase and you'll need to know how to move your horse around you know as as with a lot of disciplines in, in the equestrian world, and uh, do, do things a lot faster. Your top players will play in, in the A division, which is the, the best, um, the, and, and then it just goes down, down in degrees of skill. You don't have to be a great rider, you don't have to be a great ball, ball sports person. All you have to be able to do is, is, is to be able to put the two of them and a little bit of tactical knowledge, making three, three points if you like, together and be reasonably good at all of it and you can be a good player. So you get some guys out there that can't ride but they've got the most amazing stick work. Mm. Um, and then obviously you, you've got guys out there that haven't got great stick work but they're good horsemen. And one won't necessarily be any better than the other because it's the balance that makes, you know, it's a great equaliser. The following day we'll have a briefing where everyone will be told sort of what's going on throughout the day and, and you'll get handed a, a schedule and you'll see what times you play and you'll play sort of two or three matches over the Saturday and Sunday and hopefully make a final on the Sunday, play the final, prize givings after that and then everyone packs up and, and goes home. Silver Lake usually have a tournament every year. Um, this is actually the national championships here now, but they usually have, every club usually hosts their own championship or their, their own game. Mm. So what will happen is the players will move all the way around the country, going to different clubs who host. Yeah. And, uh, and there's usually about eight, eight to nine tournaments a year, any club you go to. The people pull you in so much and everybody wants to help you. And it's not clicky at all. You, you just don't see that. There's always someone who's been playing for a year longer than you or 10 years longer than you that just wants to help you and that is a huge difference between I say rugby and a little bit of tennis I play. That's one thing that I'd say is really different with the atmosphere of the people. That, that's a big difference. It's, people come away with their families for the weekend, enjoy a, you know, the competition with Polo Cross and have a, you know, a good social weekend. It's a relaxed atmosphere, you, you know, everyone's very social, you have a 
you know, you have a few drinks and a party on, on Saturday night and, and then you go out and compete against, you know, your mates and that sort of thing and it's just really good, good luck.